draw the xy line and draw the top view of the vertical cylinder and from the top view you project the front view of the vertical cylinder now consider a profile plane somewhere here and draw the side view of the vertical cylinder now consider the horizontal cylinder when horizontal cylinder is considered true shape of the base of the horizontal cylinder is seen in the side view so you draw the true shape of the base of the horizontal cylinder in the side view somewhere here this is the true shape of the base of the horizontal cylinder now divide this horizontal cylinder into eight parts divide this into eight parts as shown here name all these eight parts in the clockwise direction 1 double dash 2 double dash 3 double dash 4 double dash 5 double dash 6 double dash 7 double dash and 8 double dash now from this side view you project the front view by drawing the locus lines now this is 1 dash you are seeing like this this is the side view when you are seeing like this 2 is visible 8 is invisible so here you will get 2 dash comma 8 dash similarly here you will get 3 dash comma 7 dash here you will get 4 dash comma 6 dash now project the top view from here you draw the projectors this is 7 this point is 3 complete the top view and draw the remaining projectors to get the remaining points here you are seeing like this 8 is visible just below this 8 you will get 6 so this point is 8 and 6 similarly here 1 and 5 here you will get 2 comma 4 now identify the intersection points of this curved surface and these generators now this curved surface is intersecting this generator 1 and 5 somewhere here so this is P1 comma P5. So here this curved surface is intersecting generators 2 and 4. So here you will get P2 and P4. Here you will get P3. Similarly here you will get P8, P6. Here P7. Now transfer all these points to the front view. So P1 and P5 points I am transferring now. Here 1 dash is there. So automatically here we will get P1 dash. Here we will get P5 dash. Now dry projector passing through P2 and P8. So here 2 dash and 8 dash is there. 2 is visible, 8 is invisible. So here you will get P2 dash comma P8 dash. Here you will get P4 dash comma P6 dash. To get 3 and 7 points, P3 and P7 you draw another projector passing through P3 and P7. Something like this. Here you will get P3 dash and P7 dash. Now join all these points with a smooth curve. This will give the, this curve is the curve of intersection between this, these two cylinders. To obtain the right hand side part, follow the same procedure as shown here. Drawing the projectors, you can obtain the right hand side part of the curve of intersection of these two cylinders.